let's get real guys let's say a few things what is going on with the case is uh just uh getting out of order it's ridiculous the claims of um information that are not being confirmed it's ridiculous that uh some are making money on on the expense of the victims um either that be ex-employees to a restaurant whoever that is um giving up stories selling up stories that are unfounded untrue or you know even if true then there is uh claims that information come out from investigators this was found it comes from one of the investigators although there's a gag order it is absolutely um ridiculous what is going on let me tell you something what happened to these young people yeah it's really 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 extremely sad and we all saddened by it but most of all their family and friends now I know you do feel for the, the victims, but if you have some respect, you will stop all this. You will stop and you will stop right now. Because it seems to me that everyone's into this. Everyone's trying to be the detective and to be the one to solve and find who the killer is and if Brian Cockerman is the killer. And it seems like you're all addicted to this true crime that you're gonna be the best one, you're gonna be the one to solve it, and that's all this boils down to. You've got no respect whatsoever for the poor victims. Absolutely, 100%, I'm right on this. I, I know I'm right on this. You are ridiculous, you're despicable. Story after story, media, and all this, this is all just ridiculous you need to stop this yeah at this rate at this rate even if you did commit the murders it would be very hard for to find a jury to stand to start with yeah it would be hard to convict them it would be hard to find them guilty under the circumstances yeah it really boils down to what the police have against them. I personally, I personally am leaning towards he's innocent. I personally believe that. So everyone's got their beliefs. Despite the affidavit, I found too many holes as, you know, the computer science is not a reliable source. The DNA, how did he get there? Could have gotten in many ways. I don't see no proof in the affidavit that he entered the house and linking him to each and every victim's murder. So I'm asking you to cut it out, stop, move on, do something productive.